There's some very interesting shifts that are happening in the compliance risk space. Uh, we are at Risk Minds uh, talking about the regulatory landscape and hence uh, pick the subject. Uh, the first is the entire regulatory stance of moving from reactive to preventive deterrence and that's a very, very welcome step. Uh, the second one is equally interesting. The move away from focusing just on organizations to focus on individuals and organizations and therefore and, and th this goes back to a very interesting statement made by uh, one of the senior regulators that organizations don't breach compliance. It is individuals within the organization that do and therefore the entire fine deterrence and strictures uh, landscape covering individuals as well as organizations. And the third one equally sh showcasing the importance of compliance risk in the overall landscape is that they have now moved to the sea level, they moved to the board, the reporting constructs of compliance, as I remember from my banking days back, with, which would be in the dusty corners of the of the office, to the C-level tables where they're reporting into the CEOs or the board subcommittees, and that speaks volumes of the changes that have happened in compliance risk. So, very interesting shifts and very interesting movement where compliance risk is the youngest, perhaps, of the disciplines, but still a focus area. 2016 will be all about it.